Thank you for con agreeing to this interview, but what can you tell us about the Great Pyramid? Well, like everyone else, for most of my life, I accepted the idea that the Great Pyramid was just a great big pile of stones made by thousands and thousands of slaves. But I read a book in 1967 called The Ultimate Frontier. That book profoundly affected my life. In it, they made statements about the Great Pyramid being much more than a tomb, when in fact, it never was a tomb. For a pharaoh it is a monument to mankind and human perfection. It is the oldest artifact of an ancient system of religious belief. Then I thought, that's something I can check out. I can see if the information in the ultimate frontier about the Great Pyramid, whether it's true. I started to investigate, and then learn a great number of things about the Great Pyramid. First of all, the ancient Greeks were quite right in calling it the first wonder of the world. When one considers the thought, preparation, and choice of site, one will see that the solid bedrock of the Giza Plateau, the only, the only tableland within miles capable of supporting the weight of the structure, was the most intelligent choice. There is a fantastic amount of literature about the Great Pyramid. Therefore, it is not unusual that we also find a great deal of controversy surrounding it. The British in the 1860s were the first to study the ancient building in a serious manner. By re-examining the cries of the British, which were discarded by the experts of that time, the crux of my learning began to take shape. All right, well, thank you. That'll be all for now. I, uh, I'm actually kind of getting uh, some, uh, some warning messages about this uh, locale. I, uh, I'm going to conclude this interview and we'll pick up at a later date. Thank you so much for agreeing to this uh, very dangerous and clandestine exchange of information. Thank you.